Hi, my name is Benny and welcome to my channel. This is episode 4 of the Cups and Balls. If you want to see the first episode, then click here the link. Uh, today we will see some special moves uh, in the Cups and Balls and the final load. If you want to see all of this, then stay tuned. Today I want to show you some special moves in Cubs and Balls, some funny ideas. And the first thing I saw this uh, Di Vernon did this, is to measure the cup. Look, the cup is deeper in the outside than it's in the inside. Look, look, yes, this is a funny, it's not magic trick, but uh, uh, this is yeah this is funny yeah where you do like this okay it's deep on the outside then it's on the inside yeah now this is simple when you are putting the the, um, the wand into the cup like this you make the thumb here and now when you are pushing or pulling the 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 wand outside you simply slide your thumb back and now it's uh, it's like here okay <laughs> so uh, it's nice nice um, you have also this move I, I think I show, uh, showed you already where you can penetrate the cup like this this is the same but not the same thing uh, one principle you hit the inside and now at, at three you go behind the cup and with the finger in the cup like this so this creates this nice uh, penetration illusion yeah one useful uh, principle or one useful move is the the cup uh, the cup count or the counting of the cups so i have here three empty cups and now i have here secretly three balls okay or two balls only yeah and to do this you can show three apparently three empty cups but in i'm sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> but in reality you have our oh what is this in reality you have loaded uh, two balls um, you are showing only the first cup at all time but in the natural movement to show like this you tilt to show the inside you take now the last cup with the ball in now again you show the inside take this the last cup pull and like this so that's a way to show three empty cups while concealing one or more balls one also cool idea is the the cup or the the ball through cup move okay and this is a vanish and an appearance yes at the same time so like this tuck tuck yay <laughs> so here tuck tuck this is basically really really easy you have one ball of course one hidden ball uh, you don't the, the spectator doesn't know that this ball exists yeah now you take the ball here and as we uh, saw this in the in the vanish um, a video of the cups and balls if you don't see it then uh, click here the link i take where i take the ball like this and it's in my hand now i do the same thing but with the cup okay so and apparently it co it goes uh, through the cup you can combine this move um, with the the ball hold yes where you hold the ball like this so look i have one cup and one ball now the ball goes through okay so that gives that enhance the illusion that uh, it's only one ball okay if you are holding the ball like this one also special move that i think i showed you also is the cup to cup i have one cup passes through the other cup and this cup passes through the other cup so this is move uh, simple I throw and I grab like this. It's funny, uh, it's not so magical, but it, uh, it gives to your routine some comedy and some uh, variety. Yeah? 
something that I like very very much is to make uh, wand spins. Yeah, the I can show two of them. The first one is really simple. You hold the is this one? Okay. You hold the the wand between the first finger, middle finger, and thumb like this. And now with the wrist move, you are making the spin like this. Okay. It goes up and down. So the wrist goes up and goes down, up and down. And notice the wand is approximately always at the same uh, spot, like this. Yeah, like this. It, it doesn't make like this, but it's really the, the wrist that makes the move, okay? Uh, I think cheerleaders make uh, making this move, but I think it's really really nice. And if you combine this with the second spin, uh, is this one, okay, around uh, the thumb. So for this middle finger, first finger and thumb, notice the thumb is slightly to my right of the middle. Now I, with my middle finger, I push here, oh, I'm sorry. I push here and it goes around the thumb like this, okay? So if you're combining the two, one, two, trup, trup, it's nice, okay? Um, so you can also, uh, I'm sorry, the third spin uh, comes also uh, like uh, Di Vernon makes to grab uh, the, the wand between the first finger and middle finger. So I come here, I grab like this and I come. So I grab here between the two fingers, make like this, one half spin, make it like this. Of course, when you are doing this uh, in slow motion, it's not so beautiful that in full speed. One, so I have here between the two fingers, I go up and now I go down, okay? Like this, okay? Like this, and you can combine this, uh, these two moves or three moves uh, to make uh, to make the one spin. I love, I love the, <laughs> I love the want to make uh, to make this move, and these are really, really cool because that gives also a little bit of misdirection. Yeah, like if you are making the want spin like this, you can do anything with this hand. Okay, tak tak tak, like this. And last but not least, the final loads. I did, I don't want to make a big video about the final loads, but I want only to. Um, give you some tips how to load this this final uh, ball because they are really really big and I recommend to use a strong final effect to do to do this okay for instance um, how many balls are I'm sorry I take I, I take now a ball here like this so, how many balls are inside? Look, I, I give you a quick look. How many balls? One, no, two. Ta -da -da. And this is a surprising moment uh, where the misdirection is to the ball, okay? I did not good, but uh, yeah, just to, to uh, demonstration purpose. What I want to say here is that first, of, first thing you have you need to have a, a, a surprising moment. Oh, there is two balls. And also what I recommend is to make this ball move. Okay. When you are doing, you, when you, when um, this ball move, the eye follows the movement. So the spectator doesn't take many attention about the final load. Okay. So technically you have the surprising moment. I'm sorry, tuck, how many balls? Uh, second thing, you have the, the movement, okay? And third, you have the technique. The ball, it, it's never the final load that comes to the cup, it's the cup that comes to the final load, okay? So, in, uh, in practice, it's like this. I have uh, the, the final load here. 
I'm sorry. Taka, 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 tak. How many balls? How many balls? One, two. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I did not the movement. Two. Like this. Ah. Okay. So I come with uh, with with the cup to the ball. Another time. Taka, taka, tak. Tak. And now I load the uh, the big ball. Uh, when you are standing, you need to have um, the hand only relaxing um, to the side of your body, okay? I give you a little tip. When you carry a little, a um, sorry, a big uh, load like this, you can close your thumb like this, okay? To have to prevent, uh, to have better angle like this and making like this. If you are using uh, my belly, the belly, you can also uh, come and palm or palm or hold the ball onto your belly like this. Okay. So another time, tuck, you come and you load, uh, you load the ball. You can also come um, like this. Okay. In this way. So here, this way. And now I am here to simply with my fingers push the load into the cup. Okay? So this is like this. How many balls? One? No, two. And now I already pushed the ball into the cup. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do every week new magic videos where I make reviews, tutorials and a lot of more. If you don't want to miss any of these videos, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell. I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye and stay tuned.